Hey everyone, so we've been friends for a long time, right? So let's talk about something that is personal and a little embarrassing for some of you to talk about. I wanted to talk about um, menstrual cups. And I know some of you may never have heard of this, but um, what a menstrual cup is, I'll show you this one, is a alternative form of catching your menstrual flow during your period. Um, in high school, I suffered from such heavy periods that I couldn't leave my house at all. I missed two weeks of school. I became severely anemic. It was awful, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I found online, I discovered menstrual cups. And um, what it has a lot higher capacity than a tampon. When you soak through a tampon or a pad in half an hour, your life is, like, miserable. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, how this works is you just insert into the vagina and it will catch your flow. Now, I know some of you ladies aren't as familiar with your anatomy as you should be, so I'm gonna bust out my anatomy textbook to show you what I'm talking about. Okay. So, oh, like, I was a little immature in this moment. I colored the pooper brown. Um, so here's from the front what your female anatomy looks like. This is the uterus, the fallopian tubes, the ovaries, and then, oh, my finger's going all over the place. Here's your vaginal canal, and then right under here, right this, the bump, is your cervix. And then from the side view, you can see the same thing. So you've got the front, your belly, and then your butt, as you can tell, because I made poop coming out of it, because I'm a child in my brain. And uh, so this is your uterus from the side, and your vagina, and then here's the cervix right here. With a menstrual cup, the mouth is going to sit right around your cervix, which will feel like a like kind of like a bump, maybe this big, inside of your vagina. And ladies, I know some of you are a little kind of averted to um, getting to know yourself and your anatomy. If you haven't already, I would suggest maybe taking a mirror and kind of looking down at what you have there if you haven't. Because I know a lot of you have, I know a lot of you haven't. And... Uh, like, you can insert a finger and just feel what it feels like inside of your vagina. If you want to use one of these, it will really help you. Um, let's see, what else? So, inserting this. It's like, how is this going to go in? What you do, there are different kinds of folds. The first one I'll show you is a C fold. So you push in, and it looks like the letter C. And um, how you do this is you insert into the... I'll pretend this is my cervix right here. You insert into the vagina, and it should pop open like that. Um, if it doesn't, what you do is you reach in your finger, and sometimes it'll sit off of your cervix like this or point forward or something. You just insert your finger and put your finger around the whole edge of the cup, and then you make sure it forms a seal around your cervix. Not like a suction cup, not like that, just a, a loose seal that it's open, and then it will catch your menstrual flow. It's really cool. Um, these have a low risk of toxic shock syndrome, so you can leave them in for a longer period of time. Um, let's see. My friend told me that she complains of um, her tampons drying out her vagina, and I know a lot of girls probably have the, sim the same problem. If you wear a tampon like for days at a time, multiple tampons, not one, because you shouldn't leave them in for more than eight hours. Um, it can really dry out your vagina. This doesn't disturb the pH of your vagina or um, the moisture or anything like that, so it kind of helps you keep a healthier environment. Um, I don't know how this affects people who are prone to yeast infections. My guess is that it might help, but I don't personally know the answer to that question. Um, this, this one is a Meluna. M-E-L-U-N-A. It's from Germany. They're really cool. Actually, usually if you buy from there, they'll uh, throw in an extra one for free, and they give you a nice little silk packet, which I have no idea where it is to hold this in. Um, for storing these, you can't put them in like a plastic bag. You don't want to seal moisture in because that can um, promote the growth of bacteria and you definitely don't want bacteria growing on this if you're going to keep it and put it into your vagina. Um, these can last you for many years. They cost about 30 bucks, but they'll last you 10 years. They'll pay for your, themselves in, um, in comparison to tampons. What you want to do, I have a cloth. You just dry it off after cleaning it. You clean with hot, soapy water. Um, 
every eight to ten hours you need to clean this out. Um, oh my goodness, I lost my train of thought. You need to clean this out and store it in a cloth when you're done with the end of your period. So I just kind of put this on my medicine cabinet. Um, it's fine, it'll go there, and then it's ready for use the next month. Um, also, some companies say that you are supposed to boil the cup. I don't like the idea of boiling my menstrual cup um, because that is where my family cooks their food to eat in a pan on my stove. And that, I, I don't know, I just feel wrong about that. So what I do is I put it in a jar and I fill it up with water about to here and I microwave it for three to five minutes. And you'll want to check with the uh, individual companies on it, what they say about being microwave safe. But that's an alternative method of cleaning that I found to be very infect effective and I haven't developed any infections from that. So... Yeah, I'm a big fan of menstrual cups. If you ladies have any, or uh, whatever gender you identify as, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, if you're shy, private message me, whatever. But I just wanted to get the word out about menstrual cups because I know a lot of girls suffer from heavy periods. And this is just a little something to make your life easier if you want to go the natural method. So yeah, um, have a fantastic day, and I'm so glad we got to talk about periods together. Oh my God. <laughs> Bye.